a brief overview of how to use the method of extreme groups. Uh, now when you get your data file, um, students when they download last week's data file, they'll still have the original items. You need to delete the items that we deleted as part of the item uh, inter item and item total process. And if you go and have a look at your worksheet, the final set of items that you have should be these ones here on page nine. Okay. Now what you can do just to refresh their memory, you can run a reliability analysis. So you go to scale, reliability analysis. Uh, you pop in all the items, pop them over there and give it engagement. And you've always got to go tick these boxes, item, scale, and scale of item deleted. So when I run that, we find here we've got an alpha of 0.7, there's 669. But if we have a look here at question 25, if we were, sorry, 21, uh, if we were to delete that, that would improve it significantly. So you go back to your data view and you actually delete question 21 there to show you're not including it in future analyses. Run it again. 0.689, so that's looking good. There's one more item we can drop question 25 and through the magic of rounding it's an APA we round it to two decimal places that becomes 0 0.70 so we delete that item as well okay we run our analysis and in fact I could actually double click on that if I wanted to hide it from my supervisor I could round it to two decimal places, covers all sins. All right, so now I need to create a new scale total based on just those items. So I go to the transform compute menu, uh, engagement, engagement total, and it's question two class question 8, class question 9, class question 13, class question 15, class question 17, class question 24, uh, 20 rather, uh, plus 24. Okay. Now, where students get confused is they forget to rerun this scale total, and their scale total um, will be a little bit out of whack. So I click on OK. And we go to our variable view, our data view rather, scroll along here to our engagement chart. I want you to right click here to sort it, the lowest to highest. Now you count out how many people you've got, so 35. I'm going to pull up my trusty calculator, 35 divided by 4. So our bottom quartile, bottom 25%, will be the first nine people. And we need to create a new variable here that will be our flag. And I'm going to call it top or bottom. I'm going to make it zero decimal place. And there's going to be a nominal variable. What I want to do is define some labels. So one is bottom 25%. Two, that's the top 25%. And if I don't enter a number, it will just be left out entirely. So it's the easiest thing you'll probably do in this uh, tutorial. You start at the top, and you go one, enter, one, enter, one, enter, all the way down to the ninth row. Okay. If I turn my value labels on, it will be labeled. Now, I've got to label the bottom nine. So that is from 26 onward. So two, 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 two. And I turn my labels. 
Now, I want to generate descriptive statistics for each of the items, but just for the bottom 25%. So I go to the data view and go to select cases. If condition is satisfied, and our flag is top or bottom, and we only want to select them if it's equal to one, so the bottom 25%. Now you'll see these are okay, but the rest are all uh, scratched out. So nice and easy, go descriptive statistics, descriptives. This one question two to 24, pop that in. Don't change any of the settings. And there's our table for the bottom 25%. Now we now go out to the data view, select cases, and instead of top or bottom equals one, we will say top or bottom equals two. And continue. Okay. If I go to my data view, everyone's excluded except for 26 on. We rerun the analysis, the descriptors, Okay. Now, for the assignment, what students need to do is take this number here from that, and that will give you your discrimination index. But very time consuming, you might make a mistake. Easier just to copy it all into Excel. So you go to Excel, just open a brand new workbook. There we go, blank workbook. Closer. All right, now you go to the very top row, you go to your first table here, which is your bottom 25%, right click and copy, paste, and I call this bottom 25%. I go to the other table, right click and copy, click here in column I, We'll call that top 25%. And to do the, the math, the uh, discrimination, a bit wider. Let's ju you just hit the equal sign to do a formula. Click here. Hit the minus key. And there. Now, it'll be a long, long, long number. So if I widen that out, you can see it. So I want to right-click on it now and go to Format Cells. APA has two decimal places. Okay. And then I move my mouse cursor over to here, drag it down. And then these are the values. This one here, this one here. And then these ones here that I paste into my table in Word to produce something like this. Okay, so nice and easy. Let the computer do the heavy lifting. Probably one of the most easiest tasks you'll do in the assignment. Okay, that's all for now. Carry on.